Hi, my name is Daniel N. I am the owner and operator of Rivals Gaming Trading Card Games. We specialize in mostly trading card games. We try to have people play in a competitive level, also in a casual level, and trading card games have been a thing for a long time. Um, people come to play casually, um, people play for the competitive aspects. Um, nationwide there's tournaments and special prizes, special things you can get that you can't get in a regular store. So being a hub for these companies like Konami and uh, Wizards of the Coast or Bushiroad even, uh, we distribute the cards for them and host our little tournaments for them to play in bigger ones. They send us the things to give to our players and to make them more excited for more prize sports in the future. I didn't have a lot at all. It probably was a thousand dollars to start. Um, I was very fortunate to have a very loyal player base and customer service takes uh, takes you very far. It, it goes a long way. I mean, if people like you, they will support you. If you treat them like a person, you treat them like a friend, they'll spend money. So that thousand dollars went far. And I am grateful for all the players that supported me. Um, the biggest, the big influence in my life was probably my wife and my son. Um, I had the store started when my son was really, really young, um, we didn't have very much, and I was very motivated to build a life for them, build a foundation for, for them and for us. And that, with that um, motivation, it, it grew, it grew, it grew big. My wife, in the beginning, she wasn't super supportive. She had the mindset and makes sense that if you're not working hard, you're not getting by. But when she saw the growth in me and in the store, she she was very very supportive. We both learned, and she's she supports she supports she supports everything that I do now. My even my gaming, even everything I do here, it's it's awesome now. So the past five years have been a lot of growth within not just the business but growth within the community, um, and that's one of the things that have really um, inspired me to help um, Daniel as much as I can from the background. But the most beautiful part of uh, these past five years is seeing how people come in, connecting with them, seeing them get married, seeing them have their children, bringing in their children, and then having them play as a toddler on their dad's lap. I really love that about this store. No matter what community you're from, whether you're from the Magic the Gathering community or the Yu-Gi-Oh community, everyone just kind of comes here and um, everyone's really welcoming. I like that aspect too. So these last five years have been a lot of perspective, a lot of growth, and it gives me inspiration for what can become of this for the future. I had a lot of friends that were into Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and their friends were into Magic and I was like, okay, this could be a thing. So like I said, I went, I ventured out into finding a card shop. I found one that, I found an owner in Elkhart, I helped him out. I was doing such a good job promoting. Um, he asked me to be partner and became partner and we grew bigger and then we drifted apart and then it was for the better because I made all the decisions and what I am very good at is bringing a community together. I was very good at event planning. I was very good at finding people. You know, I'm, I'm a millennial so I know how to do it all. <laughs> but I am very good at adapting and being progressive with the age and everything that's going on. I do my research. It's, it takes a lot of work doing this, but I enjoy it. I work 24-7. I'm on Facebook all the time answering questions. People ask for ISOs and say, oh, do I have that in my shop? I respond to it. This and that, they ask questions from 3 in the morning, this and that, people are up. So yeah, it, it's, it's kind of, it's crazy. But this is what I like to do. I mean, I get to see my family every day. I get to see, I can watch my son grow up. You know, my, my wife and my son can hang out here and, <laughs> and chill with me. What's like the, the best thing about your dad owning a card shop? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Cards. You can make houses with them, play card games, and basically you can collect them. The first thing when uh, a new person come in and never played any uh, games here that I let them know that everyone here is supportive. Don't worry, no one's gonna, you know, they're, if, if you learn how to play someone, they're gonna be nice about it. Or if you play in your first tournament, they're, they're gonna, yeah, you might lose and they might beat you, but they're gonna, they're gonna teach you. That's the best part about the store. They make, make you feel welcome. And it's not all just me, it's the players here that are very helpful. Every week, every Saturday, we do fighting games for multiple games. 
Uh, we do a lot of the newer games like Grand Blue Fantasy Versus, Tekken 7, Street Fighter 5 now. If, if that's how old I am in retrospect from Street Fighter 3 to Street Fighter 5. And um, shoot, Blaze Blue, a lot of anime fighters. Um, this area is really big in the anime stuff. The best thing about the community as a whole that we have here is that everyone is supportive of each other. I am very strict on players, you know, how magic players, there's always a stereotype magic players talk down on Yu-Gi-Oh players, Yu-Gi-Oh players talk the same way about that. Fighting games don't even play card games, so they're like, oh my god, these nerds or whatever. But I nip that at the butt. I support everything here, and I always have to say something to somebody. It's like, no, they worked as hard as you do, you know, it's just as hard of a card game, or it's, this is just as hard as a, you know, whatever game it is. Um, I don't treat anyone better than anyone else. That's the thing. I'm a big community uh, evolved person, so that's probably why we're the biggest in Northern Indiana right now. So. <laughs> we started off, the foundation is very humble. Mm -hmm. Daniel started off sweeping the floors, um, learning how to play the card games, interacting with other people, and showing them the joy of playing card games. Um, and we've grown with the community, but we've also put all of our heart, all of our uh, good intentions, all of our well wishes into what this building is. It's not just uh, a new shop for us. It's almost like a new chapter. Um, that's just like my perspective on it. And to see um, it grow and to see everyone <laughs> smile when they come in through the door and to have people say hello, it's really beautiful. It's really humbling. Everyone is really welcoming here, so I think that helps also if there's a new player who's interested in playing. The aspect of we know that we're welcoming and we welcome you, so I think that helps too. Yeah, um, this is our livelihood. Um, this is our only source of income. I don't have a side job. My wife's not working. She has uh, a yoga thing that she's trying to start up. Mm -hmm. um, we don't have deep pockets like other store does. I mean, they have hundreds of thousands of dollars for their business. I started with a thousand, you know, I'm not in that status yet, but um, that's my motivation uh, to to build the community as an, in, a, in a positive way. Mm. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like we are the true mom and pop shop. Um, most stores are for people's retirement, is it for um, something to have money while they're away on vacation. But no, I, I personally will work here with my employees to, mm. to make sure everyone's happy. I mean, that's, that's the biggest part about our store. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's a blessing, but yeah. it's, it's hard, a lot of hard work. <laughs> oh, um, you can find Rivals Gaming on Facebook. Um, we do uh, almost 100% of our advertisement on there. Um, it's Rivals Gaming Shop. Um, I think that's it. We're in Mishawaka, Indiana, um, town and country. Um, anything else to add? Come challenge me at the shop. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>